Dear friends and followers, in this short screencast I'm going to show you about Lighthouse. As of Chrome 60 you can now access Lighthouse from Chrome DevTools, so you just right click inspect and then instead of the elements tab you go to the audits tab and I've already run an audit here to a preact demo and this preact demo is highly optimized so you can kind of see it has a 100 score on progressive web apps, 95 for performance, 100 for accessibility and 100 for best practices. So uh, I'm going to show you another example now. I'm going to go to my website, which I haven't run through um, through Lighthouse yet. So you, you're going to see it's not going to have perfect scores. Then I'm going to run new audit and I'll run audit. It's going to take some time, but it's running my websites through a set of tests for performance, progressive web apps, etc. You can also run this from the command line. And before Chrome 60, this used to be a Chrome extension. But now you don't need the Chrome extension anymore because you have it as part of DevTools. All right, it may take a while depending on your website. And let's take a look at the results. I haven't worked on the progressive web app part, but let's take a look, it's very helpful. I haven't registered a service worker and that's why I can't respond with the 200 when I'm offline. I can't show, the, web, the browser can't show the install web app screen, uh, the banner, because I don't have the web app manifest. Let's take a look at some of the things that I already passed. So I have content even if the page, the JavaScript is disabled. I'm using HTTPS and I'm redirecting HTTP traffic to HTTPS. These things are uh, very important nowadays. And the page load is fast enough on 3G. I've got a viewport so it's responsive and the content is sized properly uh, on mobile devices. So that's for progressive web apps. After you add a service worker, you will have a better score here. Let's take a look at performance. Um, I'm loading a video here, so it's kind of hard to have a 100% score on performance, but you can kind of see screenshots, what the user will see on 1.7 seconds, 3.4, etc. So the first meaningful paint is fast, which means I don't have a lot of resources blocking um, the initial request, but the first interactive time is kind of slow and it takes about eight seconds to be consistently interactive. That's because of the video here. So I can do some couple of things here. I can uh, lazy load off off screen images, but they're only 60 kilobytes, so it's probably not worth it. Let's view some past items. I can reduce render blocking style sheets. This is already done. Optimize images. All of these are almost done. Okay, let's take a look at accessibility. I need to add some alts, and you can also view failing images. So, but these are these images are coming from Google Maps over here, so I can't really do anything about it. And I can work on having a better background and foreground colors because they don't have sufficient contrast ratio. And for best practices, uh, I could use passive event listeners, but again, I think this is from Google Maps. Yep, this is from Google Maps. And uh, this is something I can do, which is, oh, again, also from Google Maps, but uh, for external links, for security purposes and performance, you could add rel equals no opener. And then you could view the 10 past items. So I'm avoiding application cache, like all of these deprecated web APIs, document.write, I'm using HTTP2, etc. So Lighthouse is a very important tool. I recommend that you use it for any website you're building. Even if you're not building progressive web app, you will still get amazing resources for performance, accessibility, and best practices. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.